Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to talk about the photo albums. To access the photo albums on the administrative site you'll go to Tools and then down to Photo Albums. Once here you can click on Add a new album and you can give it a name. And let's give our album a name of Winter Scenes. You can give it a description or not and then hit Create Album and then click on Add Files to bring in your photos from your computer. So you can click on a photo and by holding down your control button you can click on another one without clicking the ones in between. If you wanted to click on a bunch of them together just hit your shift button down and you would see all of them here. So we just want Winter Scenes and then we're going to hit Open. Once they come in you can hit Start Upload and the system will upload them. And here we have our two completed photos. So let's go back to the photo albums by clicking on photo back to albums. And you can see we just created our winter scenes. At this point you can edit the titles by just clicking in the field and you can change the names. You can also hide the photo albums from view. And you can also sort them by clicking and dragging down. If you're wanting to delete an album, you can click on the delete trash can button on the right hand side here. And if you want to manage your photos, you want to sort them, move them around, delete them, unapprove them, you can click on the manage column here. So let's go ahead and click on the manage column for the fall season. And this album does not have a description, but you can type in a description. And you can see your photos here that are in the album. You can delete photos if you choose to. You can unapprove them, and when you unapprove them, it takes it off the member side. You can toggle the approval for all images by clicking on this checkbox. And if I click again, it unclicks all of them, so we'll approve them all. You can also click and drag to resort where your photos are in order. And at the upper left hand corner here, you can click on View Grid, and then you'll see your photos going across. This might be an easier way to move your photos around, as you can see in a line where your photos are. At this point, you can just click on Save Changes, or you can save and upload more images if you choose. So let's save the changes that we've made. Now once you've created albums, you're going to want to make sure that it's somewhere out here on your member site for them to see. If you can't find the photo album, then go back to your administrative site, go to Appearance, navigation and you'll find the photo album probably in your orphaned. If you can't find it anywhere in a widget or you can't see it in your top or your or your top navigation or your footer then scroll down on the orphan and here we could see our photo albums. So I'm going to click and drag and bring it over to the top navigational. Right now you can see it's yellow so that means it is both on the secured member site and the public but I want to make this secured so I'm going to double click on it and choose secure and hit save changes and now my red button is alongside of photo albums which according to our legend is secure. Once you make changes you do have to click on publish navigation so we'll click on that and we'll say OK. It will save our changes. I'll take you back to the member side. We're going to refresh this page and here we can see photo albums. When I click on it I can see we have two photo albums. Now as a member if you allow your members to add photo albums to the website, I'm going to show you first how to turn that on for your members and what it looks like. So we'll go back to the, navi uh, to the administrative site, we'll go to Tools, and then we'll go to Site Tools. And right here we have an option to allow families to submit photos, so you could say yes or no, either way. If you say yes, the email notification for approval will go to the address that you have on your group's profile. If there's another person in your group that's approving photos, you could put their email address in here and they'll receive it. So as a member, they can go in here and they'll see this Create New Album under Photo Albums. And they can hit Create. They can give it a name. And they can create the album. At this point, it looks very identical to what you saw on the administrative side. They can add files, and they can click on some pictures, and they can say open, and it's going to bring it in, and they could start upload. 
Now the member that submits these photos when I take you back to photo albums they're gonna see it here but it hasn't been approved yet so if another member was on here they would not be able to see what they've submitted so as an admin you'll get the email that says you have pictures waiting for approval and under the approval submissions is where you'll find them and here we have the three pictures that were submitted so we'll go ahead and we'll approve them all and we'll hit submit okay so the other way that you can show your photo albums other than on a link is you could show them in a widget so let me take you to your administrative side under settings and then home page you can get there this way or you can go under pages home page design and I want to go to the private home page if you don't see a public and a private home page, it means your pages are coupled together and there's an, a link to uncouple them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a row at the top here and I'm going to add two widgets. I'll take out the titles and I'm going to choose photo album for both of these widgets. Once you've chosen photo album as your widget, you're going to click on settings and you'll know that it is recommended to have photo albums used in a row with two or less widgets so you don't want to put three widgets of photo albums on the same row so right now we have two and we are going to choose which two we want to show so maybe we want winter scenes and we can select the auto speed to be you know slow medium or fast if it's one picture you could choose no none um, so we'll keep it as medium and I'm not going to hide the thumbnails right now. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's just save it. And then let's do our second widget. And we're going to choose Fall. And we'll save it. So let's go over to your member side homepage. We'll refresh it. And now we have these two widgets here that are photo albums. And the thumbnails that I was talking to you about are at the bottom here. So if I take you back to the widget into a settings, I can hide those thumbnails and hit Save and refresh this page and they're going to disappear on the winter one okay now it will continue to scroll but there's nothing here for them to choose to click on each image so um, you can have it either way if I click on an image I can go back and forth here but here um, there's nowhere to click to move it it's just going to move at its own pace your members can come here they can download these pictures onto their computer and then use them elsewhere Notice here I have a title above my fall scene called Colors. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to your photo albums. And I'm going to choose Winter Scenes. So I'll click on Manage. And this is where you can add an image title to each picture if you choose. And if you do, it'll show up at the top of the picture. If you have further questions, please go to your admin homepage and create a ticket and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.